today we're doing pineapples. I'm gonna show you how to pick one out, nice and juicy, how to cut it up, how to season it, and then how to grill it on the grill for a nice, juicy, delicious pineapple dessert. So before we get into our recipe, I'd like to start off here with just a little chef joke for you. All right, so what is the best way to count cows? With a calculator. Okay, so let's talk about picking out our pineapple. So what are we looking for? Well, when you go to the store, you're gonna look for color. You're gonna look at your pineapple, you, you see the green ones, and then they might be a little more ripe ones, which are more yellow. Those are the ones you want, right? Because that's, that's our color variation. And the color of yellow will be more at the bottom because the pineapple gets ripe first at the bottom, and then it kind of works its way up. So you'll notice more yellow in the bottom and then more green going towards the top, which is what I had here when I first picked out this one. It was basically pretty green all over. Uh, there was a little bit of yellow starting, but not a lot. Then you're going to want to pick up that pineapple and give it a smell. See what it smells like. It will smell like a nice pineapple. You'll get that pineapple-y smell and the sweetness comes through. Mm. You know that this is getting ripe. It's a good sign. And you also want to check for mold. You don't want any rotten spots on your pineapple because that's not a good thing. The next thing after that is touch. We're gonna squeeze it a little bit. We're gonna press on it. And near the bottom especially should show some uh, soft, you know, give to it. It should give a little bit, but it shouldn't, you know, feel mushy by any means. So those are the main three things you're looking for is the color, the smell, and the touch. And then after that, you know, you can try, a lot of times, you know, people will pull out a little leaf at the top and it should come out pretty easy. That came out pretty easy to sort of indicate that it's ripe. And then the weight of the pineapple, it, sh it should feel a little bit heavy for its size. That way you know that there's a lot of you know, good juice in there that's nice and sweet. And that should, that should really you know, help you out picking out a nice uh, pineapple. And if it's not quite ripe, you, know, you think it's a little green, because you can't always get a perfect one when you go to the store, just let it sit on your counter for a day or two and just watch it. And when you see those signs coming through, then you know it's time to cut it up. So the first thing I'm gonna do is rinse the pineapple under some water just to kind of clean it up a little bit. Then next, I'm gonna cut off the, the sweet end. We're gonna call the bottom the sweet end, okay? So I'm gonna come up a little bit, and I don't wanna take off too much. But I wanna cut that off, and then we'll cut the other side off. Now remember, we're cutting this up so that we can grill it. So now I'm gonna cut it in half, because I'm gonna to wanna to get the core out of it, and I'm gonna cut it in half again. And I'm going to cut it in half again. So I'm going to end up with eight pieces. Now we're going to trim out the core and don't throw it away. A little bit later in the video, I'm going to tell you some things you can do with it. It's just a little too hard to eat as it is. It's pretty fibrous. So, but don't throw it away. So you just take your knife. You can, you can see it. There's a line that goes right along there that shows you where that is. Now remember, I'm keeping my pineapple pieces nice and long like this because we're gonna be putting them on the barbecue and I don't want to lose them by falling through the grates, little pieces. So now we're gonna cut the skin off. So just slide your blade close to the skin across the whole piece. And if you notice any of these little seeds in there, you can just pull them right out. Once we're done removing all the skin, then we're ready to make our mixture to season them up. Okay, so remember I was gonna tell you a few things to, that you can do with your uh, pineapple core so you don't have to throw it away and waste it. All right, so I'm gonna place mine into a Ziploc bag and I use mine to just toss into smoothies because it blends up so nicely. But another thing that you could do is you could add it to hot tea, you know, and let it simmer and get some pineapple flavor into that. Or you could cut it up and use it as ice cubes, cut it up into chunks, freeze it, it'll keep for about a year, and then just put those into your drink when you wanna chill it off and add a little bit of pineapple flavor to it. Now we're gonna make our beautiful seasoning sauce. So I'm using some coconut sugar here. You could also sub in just regular brown sugar if you want. I'm gonna place it into this nice dish here. To that, we're gonna add some Ceylon cinnamon. And you can get all the ingredients down in the description of this video. So click down there where it says show more and you will find it. I'm gonna put a pinch of salt. Helps bring out some sweetness. I'm gonna add a little bit of vanilla extract. 
and we're going to add some butter. So it's equal parts butter to sugar. And if your butter gets cold, it will get very thick and you won't be able to spread this on your pineapple. So you can always reheat it if you need to. I'm preheating my grill. I'm going to get that to, you know, medium heat. So we'll add the pineapple to the sauce and coat it. And I like to use a brush to spread it around. Now I'm out here at my grill and I'm going to coat these one more time to make sure they're completely covered. Okay, so here we are at my grill, which is preheated over medium high heat. So we're just gonna take our pineapple and lay them on the grates. And we're gonna watch this closely, of course. Okay, we got a little flare up here, which I don't like. I don't wanna burn my stuff here. You don't want the sugars to burn, that wouldn't be very tasty. So if you get a flare up like I've got here, pull the pineapple off to a quiet area. Now I've got, I've got three burners on so I can pull this off if it gets too hot. So I'm gonna turn these over frequently so that they don't burn, right? We just wanna get some nice little grill marks on them. So I place the pan with the sauce in it right on the grill but there's no flame underneath it just to keep it warm so that the sugars don't get hard. And these will cook for five to eight minutes, let's say, uh, depending on how hot your grill is. So you wanna see these nice gentle grill marks. All right, so here's our second chef joke of the day. Did you hear about the pineapple and the honeydew when they tried to get married? Well, the court said they cantaloupe. <laughs> okay, let's take that pineapple off the grill. Our pineapple is done. It only takes a few minutes to grill it up and just keep a close eye on it so it doesn't burn. And it turns out fantastic. So I'm gonna give it a little taste here. It's best right off the grill where it's nice and warm. You taste the buttery flavor. It's a great dessert. A little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of sweetness from the caramelized sugars from the pineapple and the sugar. A little vanilla. Spot on, guys. You're going to love it. Imagine serving this with that sauce over some vanilla ice cream. Oh my goodness. If you want to know how to cut up a pineapple in a very decorative way, well, I've got the video for you. It's easy to cut and your guests will love it too. Click the link and I'll show you how. Thanks for watching.